Hello and welcome to the Reboot Speedrun Tutorial. This is the beginner route for level 3. Level 3, each of the tears take one minute to spawn, which gives us a lot of time to do the things we need to. I actually recommend trying to grab all three of the keys before the first tear spawns. You can pick up a level 3 pistol upgrade here. If you don't pick it up here, there's another chance to get that in level 5. But, either way, I immediately switch to the blaster to take out whatever enemies I want. Uh, this key can be a little tricky. I recommend getting it and then just tapping down. Uh, maybe tapping strafe as well to get some momentum and then tapping down. And then this jump can be a little, little tricky. I missed it there. If you miss that jump to the third key, don't... Don't worry about it, you can get that later. If you didn't get the first key immediately after the pistol upgrade, you can do a jump right there as well to pick it up. Uh, for Squid Face, you can jump down and start fighting it. That's the big monster in the, the sewer. Uh, however, it's a lot easier to come up these ramps, jump over this gap, and then come up these ramps. There's an invincibility power up here. So grab that. If you picked up the mortar in level 1, switch to the mortar. And then just unload it on, on Squid Face, and it only takes a few shots. If you miss a couple of them, uh, go ahead and use the blaster to finish them off. You also end up with a little extra time here, so you can do an attempt at getting this extra life before the second tear spawns. I always forget where exactly the second tear spawns. It's somewhere in the middle of this goo. And then after the second tear, we have another full minute before the third tear spawns. So you can do kind of whatever you want. You can practice this jump to get up to the third tear. That's good for when you start doing the early tear glitch in this level. If you did not grab the second or the third key earlier, now is the best opportunity to do it. Um, if you don't want to do that fancy jump into the third tear room, your best option is to come over here uh, to the path with the life, and then just jump onto this platform and drop in. There are a bunch of ways that you can jump into this room. Play around. Uh, see what See what works for you. Try your best to stay on this middle platform for mending the tear. It is technically faster if you can mend the tear from this slope, so that when it mends you can immediately turn around and start moving, but it's really hard to keep a grip on the tear on that slope. It's a lot easier if you can just stay grounded on the same level as the tear. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below or ask a question in the Discord.